Hey guys, welcome back to Colin the Boxing Pussycat. Lydia stands atop her pile of conquered cheese and broom and clothes iron. And to be honest, I was bored waiting for people to leave the house, so I was just piling shit on top of her. I tried desperately most... What the heck? I tried most desperately to get this cheese to stay atop her head, ah, uh, but to no avail. Lydia is cheese repellent, and the other thing I noticed is this pheasant is floating in the air. Ooh, ghost pheasant. Now we're here back in the house, essentially where we left off the last episode because people people actually thought that I didn't notice the secret button. Fools! You fools! You thought I did not notice? Well, you were right. Yeah, as foolish as you may be, you, uh, you were right. I hadn't noticed a single thing. Thought everything was cool. An axe. Oh, oh, that's bad. She's been stabbed right in the floor. Anyway, um, I have done a little tiny, tiny weeny bit of bits and bobs while I've been off camera, just, uh, yeah, okay. Just getting stuff done, you know? Just doing some smithing and some enchanting. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I have leveled up. I haven't actually leveled up as you saw there. Um, I'm... <laughs> to be... Oh god, brutally honest, I am quite nervous of leveling up. I, um, I think I'm going to get mauled when I hit level 10. Like, really badly fucked up. Oh. Uh, no, we can do that. So, I'm, I'm just sort of putting it off at the moment until... Um, until I can get my enchanting a bit higher, I guess, so I can do a, at least a reasonable bit of damage. Well... Great. That's definitely a waste. But well, it's just uh, uh, we're back with Colin. Uh, if you didn't catch that, it was hardly important now, is it? We're saving up at the moment, I think. Saving up to get us get us one of them houses, yo. Oh sh! Calm down. Oh hit. We're in pretty no serious danger whatsoever, but, you know, it's good to, to add a, a touch of the theatrics to the whole thing. Uh-oh. Yes! Colin destroys another human being while his twin sister <laughs> stands next to him. We should wear different clothes from now on, Lydia. It's getting weird. People are starting to talk. Then a grindstone. That's useful. Okay, so at the moment, yeah. All we're probably going to be taking from people is the cash money hose. And you know, any of the valuable treasures they might have. Ah, uh, that's a nice bow. I might give that to Lydia. What kind of bow you got, Lydia? I don't know. Um, at some point we'll find out though. It's, it's, everything is in... I'm in control. Complete... Control... Oh my! I'm beginning to feel like I should have gone the other way. Whoa, this place is big! I did not expect this at all. Are you as surprised as I? Probably. 
probably... Um, okay, well, I want to quickly pop back then and see what was the other way. And uh, as long as we have the time for it, I think today's other uh, task, as it were... Oh, enemy. I'm here. Yeah, you see, at the higher levels, that kind of wanton unsensibleness is what's going to get me killed, I think. Probably. What is this? What is this place with its mysterious twists and turns? What secrets do your depths hide? Few. Very few. None. Potentially. There's no secrets here, there was just that guy. That's... Uh... Anticlimactic. I thought there would be something. A uh, quick peek down here, but I doubt that we'll find anything. Let's just jump up these rocks. Yeah, okay. Back to where we were. Essentially, we're close. So we go down this way, let's continue. What a... strange place this is. What are you hiding in here? Apples! What cunning thieves you are! What sort of mischievous deeds could you get up to with them apples? Okay. Right, we're back on track now. Everything is fine. Surprise, motherfucker! She hit me right in the face. What? No! No! Lydia! Holy moly. That's an action shot. Oh, good grief. We're getting destroyed here, guys. I used the wrong spell. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Bah, thanks for the help, Lydia, you bitch. You could have come a bit fucking earlier. Hey? Right. Uh, steel. Uh, iron gauntlet. Steel cuffed boots. What do I have on? Iron boots, iron gauntlets, steel armor, cultist mask, amulet of Talos. No ring, and. No decent necklace. Uh, so. Right, we'll just take. We'll take the uh, steel boots and the steel helmet and the iron gauntlets as well. Actually, I have a plan, cunning plan. Just use up pretty much all the magic here we have. There we go. Oh, I hope no more of them, them tough opponents get us. Right, so I have been doing some thinking. Not enough to make my head hurt, but, uh... Oh shit. But enough. Right, yeah, um, some thinking... And it's... Oh, fuck you. Yes! Yes! And there will undoubtedly come a point when the boxing, it just simply won't do the job anymore. Come on, it won't be that bad. Rigel may be paranoid, but she's as dumb as a mammoth. Body hair like one too. Ha ha ha. 
I'm just saying if we can get into that treasure room we would be set, we could just take the money and head north to catch a ship. I know a guy whose cousin knows a guy that could get us set up with some pirates in Hammerfell. And in the meantime, we could live high on that money for months. So there you go. Don't know what that means? Who cares? Hey. It means money, money, money is around, but these people, they have low hopes and dreams. That... Oh my... Okay. He's trying to do the crab. Right. Okay, so he got the same letter. And so did... She? Nope. Can't pick her up. Too heavy. Yeah, uh, so... Essentially, if it comes to it, I might have to start using weapons. I'm I'm hoping to put it off uh, as long as I can. But I just want you guys to know, and um, if you have particularly strong opinions about this, then do please uh, voice them in a textual manner. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Textual. Textual healing. Yeah, so do do voice it. Um, I was thinking maybe dual maces or dual axes, something, you know, something cool anyway. Dual wielding is cool, and I, as long as I continue with the sort of smithing, then I think, uh, you know, we should. Uh, it should actually turn out quite well, um, in my opinion, my humble opinion. But like I have said again and again in this last sentence, that's good. Um, let's see if she wants to use it. Yeah, give me a shout out. You know, don't give me a shout out, but uh, <laughs> the fuck was that? Okay. Oh, you see, I did. I actually kept the that orcish um war axe there with this whole thing in mind. I picked it up in that house that we took the shortcut through. Right, weapons. Let me just ditch this. I don't want to be carrying shit around. Be as, uh, as quick as I can. Let me go. I managed to get rid of a decent bit of stuff, so hopefully we're not going to be too laid down. But you never can tell. Why would? Why on earth would I even bother? There's just two buckets in there. Oh, no, 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 yes. Wow, I just, I definitely completely did not expect this. I'm so glad people pointed out how much of an idiot I am for missing that button. Oh, what will we find up through the wooden door? This guy, he's right here. He's a thug. Lydia, come and help me! I think he's got an orcish war axe! Sorry, hammer war. Right, plan is forming. Yeah, <laughs> thankfully, punching is quick as heck. That's cool. I like the orcish. The orcish? The Walkish dead. I like the the Walkish weapons. Jesus Christ, that is that's what I wanted to. Oh, what the heck! Felt very limply. A nice face paint, you gimp. Uh, oh, well, you you know you gotta. You gotta unlock damn doors, bro. Ooh, hide boots. Leather armor. An unusual gem. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go back to that place. Um, Falkreath? Falk, is it, is it Falkreath? I can't 
Remember. No, it's not. It's Riften. Yeah, we'll go back to Riften uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, did we have the quest, Legend of Red Eagle? Can't remember. No. There we go. That's going to be difficult as well. Some of those, uh... Some of them dudes. The... Um... Can't remember anything. Picked up a shitty sword as well. There we go. Yeah, you know what I mean. What was that? What was what? Oh god! Please don't hurt me! I'm Episcopalian! <laughs> Is everything going okay here? Oh, not really. Oh shit, sorry Lydia, I punched you right in the boobs. Okay, uh, well, yeah, that was, well, that was all fine. You're probably all just thinking, James, what on earth are you being so cowardly about planning for the future? Like a big coward. What is as oh, dirt? Why is the dirt showing up through your chest? You didn't make it very well. It's not a chest either. You guys, you guys, high? Are you huffing the poppers, the dr to serious drugs? Rora's? What the fuck is Rora? She's everywhere. Her letter is everywhere. Who's got the time to write that kind of letter over and over again? Because that's, I mean, that's what kind of place this is. You don't just like control C, control V, it, you know. You've already been searched. I hate slaughterfish. Holy fuck, I thought that was the last room. I was expecting to see a big chest somewhere. Uh, okay, I feel... Oh, hello. A warning. You've all been warned about trying to break into my treasure room, but Roars didn't think I was serious. Now he's dead. You've all had your cut of the take already, and if I catch any of you dung lickers trying to break in again, I won't let the traps kill you. I'll do it myself. Yours sincerely, and with much love, Rigel Strongarm. Well, Rigel, I have read your warning. I see. No immediate traps. Um, Lydia will set them off in a second, though, if there are any. So we don't really need to, to worry too much, I guess. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Private joke between you and me, Nigel. Old chums, as we are. Or could be. This could be. I will take him as my apprentice. My apprentice fucking punch Lydia again yes yes oh yes nearly took her through the floor Rigel strong arm woman uh, 102 gold pine watch key pine watch treasure room you wouldn't like that armor, Lydia. I think you already have it anyway. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, what the fuck? Why don't you have the key to your own chest? What the f stupid dick. Anyway. Uh, a book. Oh, damn it. Lesser soul gem. That's another problem I'm having, actually. Getting souls without a weapon. I hate casting the spell, Soul Trap. It's a big pain in the balls and I don't have many... Uh, many... Many... I meant to say it right. I mean, I'm trying to say much magic here, but I just kept saying the word many because I wasn't thinking. Okay. 
being very cautious, which is, I realize, uh, quite unlike me. Oh, that's all. Stupid Lydia. Didn't expect that. Yeah. Oh, she! This woman did actually set up more traps than I assumed there would be. And unfortunately, Lydia is uh, a fucking maniac when it comes to setting traps off. And I, I think that quest marker is telling me to go somewhere that is nothing to do with this, so that's why I'm ignoring it in case you were curious. Wow. Well, let's start seeing what we've got here, Lydia. A potion of healing. Uh, one gold, a coin purse with 13 gold in gold. Corundamore, gold ingot. Gold, gold ingot. Silver ingot, gold, gold. Quicksilver, gold. Amethyst, gold. Coin purse, silver. Ebony. Silver candlestick, why not, hey? Uh, a curious silver mold. That was a book. Many. Many golds. What's that helm? Leather helm of minor alteration. I'm just uh, taking light. Fucking hell. Who set that off? That was me! Oh, wow, I just missed that. Uh, yeah, just taking stuff to sell, really. I hope you can't hear me tapping A so many times. Oh my goodness. I ain't leaving I ain't leaving you behind! Uh, you fucking get in my pocket. That son of a I saw it briefly. There we go, you son of a bitch, you're mine. Oh, and we searched the chest. An orchid short, 101 gold. Hide braces of major smithing. That's an improvement on my hide braces of minor smithing. An orchid short. An orchid short. I'll take the short. So. Wow. That was hefty. That was a hefty amount of stuff that just happened. Exciting stuff. That's right. Oh. oh my goodness, can you believe it? That was exciting, I really enjoyed that. Thoroughly good adventuring. Now, uh, we'll leave here as soon as we can, as quickly as very, very possibly can. Forgive the accent, please. Okay, right, it's blooming night time. Oh, this is a bandit. Uh, he tried to attack me earlier. Now he spends... Well, the rest of his days just staring sort of vaguely. That's, that's the kind of face you pull when you think you can see someone that you recognize. But you're not positive. That's... Is that John? Is that John? You know? He used to work in the office. He was only there for a couple of months, but... I'm sure that's him. It's a rock, you fucking idiot. Ha <laughs> ha, dumbass. Right, uh, let's go, and we are going, where is it? Uh, uh, where's that bloody town? Right, Riften, the Thieves Guild stuff. Falkreath is the wrong place. Ah, there it is, Morthal. Just see which way is the easiest to get there. Uh, we'll go to the Kien Stag Ruins. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, that's, we're gonna have to mark it up because that. I'm gonna have to get rid of that fucking quest as well.
Right, it's that way, and quests. God's sake. Uh, that was so annoying. Alright. Well, it might take us a little while to get there. You never know what we'll run into, though. Uh, could run into something very exciting. Could. Um, likewise, not. That's actually the end of that sentence, isn't it? If we could just likewise not. That scared the crap out of me. Um, so I think when I stop recording this, what I'll do is I'll uh, take care of that Horn of Jorgen Windcaller thing so that I can get the next level of Fuzzeradar. I meant to do it. Uh, I didn't mean to do it last time, but I got carried away. I started like a whole new character after that last recording, or uh, maybe the one previous to that. Um, and that's been pretty much my entire... Uh, more of a oh! Right, that's a relatively dangerous place to be. Lots of vampires in Morvath's lair are uh, somewhere to be avoided until we can do proper damage to people. Okay, fortunately I actually remember. Uh, I mean, I think mostly what I've remembered is that I've come to the wrong motherfucking city! Son of a bitch, both Sal. I'm not here to work. Sh oh, shut up, shut up. It's bloody Windhelm. Uh, sorry, it's not Windhelm. Yeah, no, it is Windhelm, that's right. Fucking Windhelm. Right, instead. We shall go to Windhelm. Thankfully, we found Kynes Grove. Right. Uh, so, Windhelm, that's where we're going. It's a pretty straightforward path, I think. What? Who said that? Did that chicken say that? Or was that you, Lydia, you whiny cow? Yes, for anyone that isn't that accustomed with Skyrim, uh, what we're doing here probably seems confusing because I don't appear to know what I'm talking about. Wow, that's a strong punch. Uh, is we are going to join the Dark Brotherhood, and they are like the assassins of Dark Souls. It's the Assassin's Guild, uh, really. Um, the storyline is okay. And the gear we'll have access to isn't going to be uh, ideal, really, because they use light armor because they're all kind of pussies. But um, it is fun because it just involves killing people and that's the name of our game. That is Colin's game. He is a psychopath. And he won't stop until everyone that is weaker than him is dead. Those who are stronger, like these two guards, presumably, they're safe. They are safe. Okay, this is the right place. Uh, I know I know exactly where the house that we need to go is. Uh, but for those of you who don't, easiest way to get this, um, this quest is just to head into here. Uh, Candlehearth Hall. Okay. Speak to this, this lady. Got some fresh baked uh, I had any rumors lately? I've been hearing some strange stuff coming from the Aretino place. Chanting. Talk is, little Aventus is trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Okay, so there we go. We get the quest. Uh, because we don't have any others, it's automatically sort of gone for us. You, you know? Do, do you know what I mean? Uh, so it's automatically become our uh, live quest. Li I can't think of the right the right word. That's why I'm saying that. These two are always fucking talking outside this door. It's ridiculous. So you just hide here. Unlock the door. Um, you don't really have to steal any of his stuff. So very 
very tired. So very tired. Die, Grawa, die! Okay. Crazy bastard. Finally, my, Finally, my prize has been answered. Are you all right? It worked, don't you? Come on, just knew it. So I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the, the things, and then you came and an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Ah, uh, yes, of course, the Black Sacrament. It took so long, so very long, but now that you're here, you can accept my contract. Contract? My mother, she she died. I, I'm all alone now, so they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, on a hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grove of the Kind, which is not kind. She's terrible to us all. So I ran away and came here and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you can kill Grell of the Kind. Now you're here and you can kill Grell of the Kind. Right, just let me go, kid. There we go. Uh, and that'll be our last mission for today. We'll go and kill Grell of the Kind. Now this quest is really not as simple as it sounds. Grell of the Kind is uh, just some old woman. She's easy to kill, but uh, hard to get your hands on. I say. Right, um, I can't remember exactly where... <coughs> Sorry! Um, I can't remember exactly where the orphanage is, but it's... It's, it's... it's it's around here, you know? It's there, it's right there. So let's pop in, we'll see what our environment is like while it's unlocked and safe for us to enter. You will have noticed I'm talking over some loading screens while I'm not talking over others. Uh, you know, if I think they're going to be short, then why the heck not? She's not very kind. My god, she's horrible. Everyone here is busy. <laughs> That's better. These kids are so whipped. Still busy. Also still busy. You really shouldn't now I know. I'm sorry, but the children. Sadly, yes. Um. Even Grelod runs this orphanage because she's old and set in her ways and doesn't know any other life. These children need love and comfort. I try, but. I'm sorry. You should go. The children aren't up for adoption, and it's cruel to get their hopes up. Besides, Grelod hates visitors. So that's Grelod there. We need to kill her. Uh, let's save, I think. Uh, save 584. Yeah, Colin. That's my other one. Zoobity Bop. Uh, level 31 Breton. It's been fun playing a mage character. Now I have I have messed this up so many times before. Liddy, you stand guard while I punch an old woman in the the a heck. Ah! Keep your hands to yourself. Um, I mean, that's really there was really nothing else I could do. Yeah, it, we, we'll leave. Don't don't worry. That old woman does normally have money on her, but I think I, it's probably going to be better if we just left. And we'll wait. I've had an idea. Uh, Eleven o'clock. Yeah, the kids should be asleep by then. But I've been in that place like three in the morning, and those kids will still be like, "Yeah, grill at the can. Yeah, she's the best orphan." Leader <laughs> ever. Not everything has to be a song, you know. Guys, chill out. I cannot best you. I can't okay. Best you. Okay. I'm just here to steal the stuff. Fifteen. That's not great. The pig children. Not great either. <laughs> Victory is yours. Fantastic. Oh, hello! That's what I'm talking about! Yeah! 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 The Dancing Twins! Alright, this, this woman's just gone completely insane. Victory is yours. 
Yeah. Excuse me. Why are you going mental? Who are you? How can a humble no. Actually, let's check something. People suggested that I was uh, diseased. 15 points of damage. That's not great, is it? No, I'm not diseased. It's fine. I'm just f filthy. Uh, okay, let's go tell Aventus he'll give us a little treat. Nothing major, but he's like a 10-year-old kid, so I don't know what you expect. Actually, I'm curious. Um, oh, I didn't even notice that she wasn't using the sword that I gave her. The orc sword. Oh well. Never mind, hey. So he left his house unlocked this time. Yeah. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, what happens next? I think we have to sleep. I think that's what it is. Yeah, she's totally dead, mate. Fucking nailed her. Actually choke slammed her to death. Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. I'd kill him so that there were no witnesses, but you can't kill children. Pressingly. Uh, so there we go. Uh, Aretino family heirloom. This thing is a necklace. Or something. Oh god, it's not, is it? It's just a piece of shit, isn't it? It's a fucking plate. Fantastic. <laughs> what else would you want? And honestly, this kid's got nothing. Absolutely nothing. All he's got is like a raw leg of goat. Some cheese. Mead. Fucking kid with mead in his house. It's an empty wine bottle. No, it's a full wine bottle. You've got a problem. I mean, aside from the mother's skeleton and mother's human heart. Oh. Master Aventus Arantino, Yol Ulfric Stormcloak wishes to express his deep sympathies of the death of your mother, Nalia. Unfortunately, because you are fatherless and have no other known relations, Yarl cannot allow you to remain in your home unsupervised. Therefore, in no more than two weeks' time, you are to report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, where you will be reside. I tried. Well, you will reside until your 16th birthday. The Arantino family home in the city of Windhelm will, of course, remain your property. The building will be secured securely locked and ready for your return six years hence. I, he, I was actually right, he is ten, and that was just a guess. Uh, note that I am unsure of the education provided to you by your recently deceased mother, or if you possess the ability to read the letter I am currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will call upon you in one week at your home and provide, your, and provide escort to the orphanage. Hopefully this uh, his arrival will not come as a complete shock. With greatest respect, your leaf, steward to our most noble Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak. Wow, what a read. Shall we have another one? No, I think not. Right, so I think... um, I, I believe what we have to do is sort of go to sleep in a safe bed. And we'll be essentially kidnapped. And then that'll be that. Do you... I don't think it is... No, I don't think so. We haven't bought Bree's home yet, have we? Not as far as I'm aware, anyway. Otherwise, why would I be carrying around, like, a thousand iron daggers? Who knows? Who knows, eh? Right, gonna end the episode there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know what you think about the dual-wielding thing. I mean, if I can get my enchanting very high and get some gauntlets that'll do, like, 50 extra damage, then uh, we'll look at retaining the the boxing thing and of course we could return to it at some point it could be fairly straightforward like that uh, I know some people are gonna say well if you don't like casting soul trap well give Lydia all the soul gems and give her a uh, a weapon with soul trap I don't have the soul trap enchantment I haven't found any weapons with it on yet um, and I like killing shit I don't want Lydia to be taking all my glory you know so do let me know what you think think leave a comment Lydia back off a bit please and before we do go let's let's level up let's bone ourselves here right here right now a bit more stamina love it could have done with more health but I, I didn't 
That's how cra crazy bastard I am. Right, so we got nothing to do with that. Um, smithing. <laughs> okay. Nothing to do with that. Heavy armor. Um, my guess is, yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing to do there. Right, I could, I guess, do something with sneak, uh, because if you want, we can become a jewel-wielding sneaky motherfucker and ditch Lydia. Like, I can get sneak to a hundred, that's no issue. Um, actually, yeah, do, if you learn, I'd like to see that, sort of a, a very sneaky jewel-wielder, uh, let me know about that. Uh, I do like wearing heavy armor, though, but, you know, you guys, you're cool. Um, could you wield these, I guess? Nah, I'll save it for something more important. Sorry, guys, there was a kind of a level up. Anyway, that's it from Colin. Meow. <coughs> 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 <coughs>